There comes a point in every home renovation project where things just start to go south. And when you hit that point, they go south quick. That's unfortunate. Ladies and gentlemen, we're there. Two weeks ago on Father's Day, my dad got himself a brand new toy, a jackhammer, and he wanted to come over and try it out. We needed to excavate the concrete, then dig down to the plumbing so that when Steve came over, he could access all of the in-ground plumbing that was already there and make adjustments. A brand new jackhammer probably should have been a red flag, but I let him try it out anyways. We all make mistakes. How long is this gonna take to fix? Two weeks. Legitimately two weeks though? Probably. <laughs> what happened to three days? There's a hole in it now. Al and Steve compiled a list of all of the materials I'd be needing for the basement plumbing. With the plumbing on hold waiting for the not-so-fun shopping spree, luckily we had plenty of other projects that required our attention. Cue montage music. We shifted the AC unit over just a couple of inches to make room for the egress window that we'd be installing later. This actually proved to be a lot easier than we originally thought it would be. However, when we were moving it, we had to be really careful because the hose only had so much give. If we would have snapped that hose, we would be in the same position with the AC unit as we are with the plumbing. My new texturized wallpaper came in, so I went ahead and slapped that up on this accent wall. I got about 90% of the way done, and of course I ran out, but at least I have a wallpaper that I like and that is textured this time. Something else I wanted to mention is this is my very first time working with self-adhesive wallpaper, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's super easy to work with, and you can't see the seams. Jay and my dad then dug a two-foot hole for the sump pump basket. We're putting both a sump pump and a backwater valve in this basement to mitigate the risk for any water coming in. This has been one of my favorite projects so far because it's something that's actually artistic. I painted on three coats of black chalk paint to our old ugly pantry door. Then once that dried, I went over a stencil with white chalk paint for a more modern feel. Brian got to work installing the outlets for the center wall and what would eventually become the dog room. Now there's one project that's weighing on us that we haven't touched yet, and that's digging a hole for the egress. Oh boy. Today we're doing something that we have been avoiding doing, which is digging a six foot hole for an egress window. How you feeling, Jay? Not happy. <laughs> All right, let's get started. With attitudes as good as they're gonna get, we started digging our six foot hole. It's no coincidence that graves are also dug six feet deep. This could have killed us. But I took my dad's advice to not eat the whole elephant at once. We dug about a foot a day, and after a week, we had a six foot hole. You want me to take a video of it? No, I want you to leave that alone. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? What? Can you tell me, is this wheelbarrow almost full? No. Really? <laughs> it's not even close? Magical unicorn! They filled it up! Double-nosed unicorn. Everyone knows about those. I deserve that. Though we were making great strides with the rest of the house, the hole in the basement continued to sit. It was like a recurring nightmare that I almost had accepted as part of my daily life. It loomed over every ounce of progress we made and gave it this demoralizing, disgusting scent of methane gas. And by week five of this, I'd had enough. Okay. I struck a deal with a professional plumber yesterday that came over to look at the hole. He told me if my dad and I could finish excavating the concrete and move everything out of the way, that he could come in and get this done tomorrow afternoon. This was a $1,200 setback that we weren't expecting. However, if it fixes the hole in my basement, I can't write the check fast enough. We're about four weeks away from move-in, which means about eight weeks into the project. There is so much that still has to be done that I thought we'd be way past right now. Specifically, we're hung up on the plumbing downstairs. Let's go over all of the stuff that we have gotten done. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the house and update just to see where we are right now. The kitchen is a hot mess because it's the only place in the house that we're not really working on besides painting the ceiling. There are a couple of uh, spots on the wall that needed patch, so I did that, retexturized them. 
This is what I'm the most proud of right now. I redid this pantry door. If you remember, it was just an old, kind of gross, dingy looking door. Really happy how that came out. We go into the living room, which I have re-trimmed, and the floors are completely done. I adore how those turned out as well. They look so much better than they did before. I'll splash a before picture up on the screen so you can see it. So before and after, right? So much better, so much better. And here's it from one more angle, just because I love it so much. All right, moving on to my studio space. The carpet installation crew is coming in two days to, uh, to install this carpet. In the meantime, I've painted the entire room. It looks so much better in gray. Uh, we got new trim put on yesterday. We're gonna cut for the trim today. We've cut this one piece, but I didn't wanna focus too much on the trim until the new carpet was in because we'd have to pull it off anyway. So we're not gonna put that in and install it until then. In Jay's studio space, the walls are looking so fine, but I really like how these are looking together with the floor. Doesn't that look so good? It looks so office -y. We didn't attach this trim quite yet either, as you can see, so I have to paint that down a little bit. Moving on to the master bedroom. This probably is the most finished room in the house, and it looks really good. So this is basically what the entire room is gonna look like, top to bottom when it's done and then in here we just have to add that little bit of trim so this room is pretty much done and it looks phenomenal it looks fantastic uh and i'm really happy with it the plumbers will be here saturday morning to join our little party but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun without them welcome to the pregame. time to spray paint those ceilings very protected. Let's go paint. My dad let me borrow his paint sprayer for this project because there's a lot of nooks and crannies in the ceiling that would be pretty difficult to get to with a paintbrush. Before I started, we went over in great detail how to use it, how to clean it, and most importantly, how to not break it since this thing's kind of expensive. So imagine my surprise when I pulled the trigger and nothing happened. Anticlimactic. Turns out latex paint as is is too thick to fit through the filter on a paint sprayer. After I watered it down, it sprayed like a breeze. This would have taken me a whole day to complete if I was painting it by hand. But with the paint sprayer, it only took about an hour and a half before the ceiling was completely finished. Are my eyes deceiving me? Or are there actually plumbers fixing this mess in my basement? Pat and Jordan were absolutely amazing. They removed the old cast iron, arranged the new pipes, and glued them all into place in a matter of six hours. Six hours to fix a month-long problem. I think I'm gonna sleep pretty well tonight. No more nightmares for me. Man, this has got to be the scariest thing I've ever seen. Whoa, what? Don't take a picture of me falling. <laughs> 